I was just a teenager and I just couldn't understand why. Venus and Serena Williams have experienced racism on a huge level throughout their career. Did you ever wonder what stories the news left out? Or what fueled the racist attacks against them? Or what are Serena and Venus up to now? Time to find out. There are reasons why the media attacks Venus and Serena Williams far more than any of their other tennis peers. Or why the media tried to cover up what was actually shouted at the racist tennis match at Indian Wells. By the end of this video, you'll know why. I'm bringing you the facts, telling you the myths, and revealing what you need to know about the racism Venus and Serena face. This took a lot of work to make, so please give me a like and subscribe if you support me. It lets me know if I should make more episodes like this. Also, hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when I drop a new episode. The support from you is what keeps this channel going. Every like, subscribe, and comment pushes the algorithm for more people to see it, and that truly helps my account, and it helps you in return. And that's on what? Education. Now let's learn. What's up? I'm DJ Crystal Lake. You might know me from my TikTok where I teach the stuff schools don't teach. Comment TikTok family if that's how you found me. Today we're going to learn about the brutal racism that Venus and Serena Williams faced. I've included a few goodies for you. To find out what it is, click the description below. This episode might piss you off, so get ready. To understand this story, we're going to have to time travel. Venus and Serena Williams before the fame. It's early morning in South Central Los Angeles, and it's anybody's guess who will get killed tonight. This is now a war zone where life is cheap. Coming straight out of Compton, Venus and Serena grew up in one of the most dangerous ghettos in America. In this part of the story, you're gonna learn about what the gangs did while the sisters were playing tennis. Venus and Serena lived with their dad, Richard Williams, their mom, Orisine Price, and their four other sisters. That's eight people in one house. Do you know how many fights for the bathroom there must have been? I'm just saying. Now back in the days, their dad, Richard William, was blown away when he saw tennis star Virginia Riziki win the French Open. He also saw how much money she made by winning. So Richard started to get into playing tennis and let his family in on it too. I uh, had watched a tennis match on TV and it was given this young lady $40,000 because she won the tournament. And I figured since I worked for $52,000 all year, and this girl make $40,000 in four days, I knew I was in the wrong business. Serena and Venus were way more excited about tennis than their other sisters, and the world was about to find out. Now, being in Compton as a black kid playing tennis was as rare as a black Trump supporter with a black wife. Comment below if you've heard about Compton. If somebody came up to you tomorrow, grabbed you and said, I got a job, a good job. Yeah. He ain't gonna stop me from cripping. <laughs> you take the job too? I'm a crip at work. They practiced in a park where a whole lot of gang shit was going on, while other young white champions practiced at their father's country clubs. The gang activity in that area was so bad that Serena said she would hear gunshots while they were playing on that raggedy tennis court. From time to time, their dad would even get beaten up in front of his kids while he was trying to coach them on that tennis court. One gang member beat him up so badly that he broke his nose, jaw, fingers, and knocked out a bunch of his teeth. Their dad, Richard Williams, knew that Compton would be tough to grow up in, but he moved there on purpose to make them tougher. He even said, I wear my toothlessness as a badge of courage. However, one gang incident would sadly change their lives forever. But before I get into that, we interrupt this program to give you great news. My store is now having a sale. Find the link in the description or go to the website cutbycrystal.com slash shop. Thank you so much for everyone that has bought some merch. The black hat is going on fire right now. So make sure you get it while it lasts. Now back to the show. Little Black Champions. Serena and Venus, as well as their other sister Aisha, would practice every day, even during thunderstorms. Aisha said that their dad Richard made them practice at 6 a.m., then go to school, and practice again after school. 
Aisha later stopped playing because of a back injury, but Serena and Venus were still at it. They got so good that they ended up joining the Junior Tennis Association. When they joined, they were met with a lot of stares and angry faces from the extremely white crowd at Junior Tennis. Comment below if you've ever witnessed or experienced getting mean stares due to racism. These girls didn't let that scare them off because Venus ended up winning every single game. She was 63 and 0 with the number one spot. Serena would follow after being 46 and 3 and ranking in the top 10. Serena actually signed herself up for the tennis matches without her father knowing. At that time, Venus Williams was the star and the younger sister Serena was tired of living under her sister's shadow and wanted to get some fun time in on the court as well. So she took it into her own hands. In Compton, things started to change. The games would start surrounding the court to protect them now. However, though they had respect on the streets now, they were about to face a different threat, which was a level of racism that would shake their bones. Pay attention to this part. Fame and racism, Indian Wells. As their careers grew, these young stars soon moved to Florida in a much nicer area. They started getting trained by legendary tennis coach, Rick Macy, who told their dad that they're the next Michael Jordan, but in tennis world, obviously. Both girls are unbelievably competitive. The way they compete, both the girls would run over a broken glass to get to a ball. Companies started paying them the big bucks. Guess how much money 15-year-old Venus was offered by Reebok? I'll share it with you towards the end. Their fame grew, and unlike many of their peers, they were actually at celebrity status. A big reason for them reaching celebrity status wasn't only based on their skills. It was also based on the racism they faced. They were called gorillas. They were called men, and the media would spread lies that Serena could only get that strong if she was taking steroids. Steroids is a drug that was banned and a drug that makes you stronger. This led Serena to be tested for drugs twice as much as her peers. She responded to the haters by saying, I just work hard and I'm proud of this badass body. However, the 2001 Indian Wells tournament was one that opened their eyes to another level of racism being thrown at them. At the time, Venus was suffering from a knee injury due to tendinitis. Because of this, she decided to drop out of the tournament. In the tournament, she was supposed to go up against her sister, Serena. Venus and Serena would go against each other many times throughout their career, but that day was not the day, and that racist crowd was not trying to hear it. Could you talk to the public in terms of, of what happens when Venus plays Serena and whether there's any family decision, any discussion beforehand? Well, the, the main thing is that I find the question pretty offensive. I contribute my best in my sport, and I also have a ton of respect for myself and my family, so any mention of that is extremely disrespectful for who I am, what I stand for, and my family. So that's pretty much how I feel about the whole subject. I'm not sure Elena... I think it was I'm not language. talking about her, I'm talking oh, no, about the no. question. Yeah, they wanted Venus to play anyway, but Venus was like, um, no, safety first, bye. So when Serena entered the stadium, she was booed and called n by a stadium of racist white people. Serena Williams given a bye by her sister, Venus Williams, who pulled out of their semi-final match. Everybody out there is still very skeptical about whether or not it was fixed or not. She wasn't even the one with the injury, but the crowd was convinced that they were cheating so that Serena could win. The whole stadium was 99% white people and they were all booing. And it gets even worse. When Venus and their dad Richard entered the stadium to support Serena and watch her game, their dad Richard said, when Venus and I were walking down the stairs to our seats, people kept calling me nigger. One guy said, I wish it was 1975, we'd skin you alive. He also said that he was struggling to hold back tears. There's Venus and the crowd, an American crowd, booing an American family. And you have to say that it does smack of a little bit of racism. Richard dealt with racism for all of his life. He grew up in one of the most racist states in America, Louisiana. He would run from the KKK many times as a kid growing up. 
So for him and his family to face that was traumatizing. I don't even know how they were holding it together. I can tell that the media was looking for them to cry, but they kept their composure. You can tell that they were devastated and probably holding back tears, but not for the world to see. I mean, honestly, how would you have handled that situation? Comment below. I really don't know if I'd be able to keep my cool like that. Even with all that harassment and pressure, Serena ended up beating her opponent, Kim Clijsters. She's a champion again. and also went on to win the whole tournament. After that game, the sisters said they'd never play at Indian Wells again. I don't know about you, but I hear that. Serena said, it was so hard, I'll never forget driving back and my sister Yatunde was there. And I remember just getting into the car and I was just bawling. I was at the gas station, there was no celebration, I was just crying and crying and crying. The sisters didn't return for over a decade, and in the next section, I'll tell you what happened when they did return. Also, if you wanted to read Serena's book, watch the King Richards film, or grab some Williams merch, then I listed all of that in the gifts link below. Check it out in the description. Community Heroes After that event, the sisters grew to become one of the best tennis players in history. Before retiring, Venus Williams won seven Grand Slams and was ranked number one. Serena Williams won four Olympic gold medals, every major tennis tournament, 23 Grand Slams, and became the oldest female tennis player to be ranked number one. Serena is known for fighting for gender and racial equality. One time, she wore a Wakanda-inspired sports bodysuit made by the late Virgil Abloh and Nike to a French Open match. It was made to support her health condition to prevent blood clots, but the French Open banned her from wearing it because it wasn't feminine enough. So she switched it for a tutu. It was a way to laugh at them and also say she can be a beast on the court no matter what she wears. I thought that this was so sick. What about you? There was one huge setback that hit the family deeply. One day in Compton, older sister Yatunde was out with her boyfriend when a Compton Crip gang did a drive-by shooting on her. The shooter thought that she was with the rival gang member, but he was wrong. She was just in the car with her boyfriend. So he ended up killing her for no reason. He was sentenced to only 15 years in prison and was released early on good behavior. So yeah, he's free. They honor Yutunde in the movie King Richard and also talk about how much of a light in their life she was. If you didn't know about the King Richard movie, it's basically a movie about the life of the Williams sisters and also about their father, Richard Williams, and the struggles that they went through to get to fame. We got future doctors, lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. Let me tell you, the King Richard movie is amazing. I cried throughout that whole thing. And if you want to watch it, you can find the link in the gift section in my bio. Will Smith, who plays Richard Williams in the film and who also directed the film, recently won an Oscar for this movie. So trust me, this is one to see. Let me know if you've watched it too. And what did you think about it? After that, Serena's matches took a downfall, but eventually she would come back on top and even return to Indian Wells after a 14-year boycott. I never, never, never thought I would go back to Indian Wells. I was terrified. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the number one player in the world. She was greeted with love this time and even received a standing ovation. She said that she saw so many kids and black kids and one of them had a sign that read straight out of Compton. She realized that she was a voice for these kids and now she continues to be a voice for the people. If you didn't know this earlier, then now you know and you can spread the word. My next episode will blow your mind so please give this video a like and subscribe. It's a great way to support this channel so I can continue making videos for you. Also, hit that bell so you can never miss an episode.
Give my shop a visit. My black hat is currently on sale. And also, I know this episode was a lot. It probably made you want to break a racket, but I hope that you learned a lot with this one. And if you're wondering how much Venus's Reebok deal was, here's your answer. It was a five-year contract for $12 million. The deal came shortly after the one she denied, which was her first offer for $3 million from Nike. Thank you so much for watching and comment below if this helped you. I'll catch you in the next episode.